Okay, something about this and that, numbers, letters, putting them beside each other, flipping them upside down, using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine box areas. Understanding that inside the diametrics of a square, excuse me, let's use the triangle, is not the same perfect triangle that you know. The perfect triangles that we do know, I believe to be one-sided triangles that break and go over lines. So what we're going to do right now is a number system. Follow me, I'm not going to be chopping this. I have to reset up my computer system. So here we are, we're going to be losing my face, okay? Here is one to nine, okay? Here is a blue pen. Tell me what would you like? Would you like me to take nine and put it over two? If I take nine and put it over two, it becomes eight. So we're gonna take this nine and put it over two. Here's this and here's this. Here's your design of nine. Nine over two. How about the three? What would you like to do about the three? Would you like to change it into the five? Because if we change a three into a five, okay, that will become 9. 3 and 5, which is 8, recreates 9. Here's 5. Five over 3 is now 9. Now if we create 5 over 3, so now we have to go 2 and 9 equals 8. 3 and 5 equals 9. Now what we're going to do with this one over here is we're going to put 6 over this one, or 2 and 5. So 2 and 5 equals 8. At the same time, 6, excuse me, 2 and 5, 2 and, this is not 5, 2 and 3. 2 and 3, because 2 is, no, excuse me, 2 and 5 equals 8. Here's my, where did I do that? All right, over here. Here's my 2, and here's my 5 equals 8. Here, 2, and here, 5. 2 and 5 equals 8. Here's my 3, and 5 equals 9. Okay. Here is my 9, okay, and 5. 9 and 5 equals 5. Now we're going to take back 3. Well, I did it the long way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because... Right? Because now we're going to add 6 on top of this. So 6... And 3 will equal to 9, uh, 8. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go 5 and 2. 5 and 2 will equal to 8. 5 over 2, we did it over here. 6 and 2 will equal to 8. 6, and now we're going to draw... The number 2 and 6 and 2 now equal to 8. Now 9 and 2 will equal to 8. 9 and 2 will equal to 8 like we did up here. 4, okay, 4 and 6 or 4 and 2. Here if I draw the 2 or 4 and 6. Here we're going to draw the 6. So 4 and 6 equals to 8. The same thing as if I draw 4 and 2, I'm going to make the small one. Here's 2. Okay. And here's uh, 2 and um, 5, if you want to do it. 2 and 5, we did. Um, this was 4 and 6. Now 4 and 5 is what I was going to do. 
I didn't do that one. I did two. I did four and five. Here is your four. And here, no, four and five equals to nine, right? Four and five equals to nine. Sorry, I didn't draw enough numbers in order to keep up this. Four and five over each other. Four and five is the only real nine. Four and five is the only real nine, okay? Four and five is the only real nine. Now, what happens, okay, um, if I take five and put seven over five? We're not going to do that. What happens, okay? I cannot actually, the only way to do a real seven is when you do it over here. It's one, two, three lines, two wide, three by two. That's the original four that we see. Seven and one creates this. Here it's two, three, one, two, three by two. This creates this. So when you see different designs, it's how many squares have been used. Here's your five. You've seen this. You've seen different kinds of numbers. Okay. Here is your four. Now, this is the other kind of four, which is on the inside. Now I'd like to flip it on the outside, and this four would now show you Neptune. Okay. But now let's do something different. We want to finish with the four. What do we want to choose? Let's choose um, four and six again from this angle. And we're going to choose four and six again. And this is what we get in four and six. We get an eight sideways. We get an L letter. Um, we get a cross that's in between holding two sides. Okay. At the same time, if I would design this bigger, right, we would end up with this empty space void. If I would design it different, I would have this band-aid in between. I would have this band-aid in between. You see, these designs have to be bigger so we can see these spaces in between. So this is what would happen. And this one over here would be a little bit different. It would go like this, and then it would go like this, okay? The outline of the five, okay, happens to be the back door of three. Do you see the way this design's over here? Now, I'm not sure where it is. I didn't sit down and figure this one out. Here is your zero. What can we do to change the zero? Well, we can build the six out of the zero. And when we build six inside zero, we end up with eight. So six plus zero equals eight. Okay. At the same time, we're going to take two plus zero equals eight. Okay. Because they have, once you have the cross line over here, it equals eight. Three plus zero equals eight. Um, six, seven, eight. Nine plus zero equals eight. In fact, the two and the three and the um, four and the five and the six all equal to eight. The only ones that don't equal to eight is one and seven. The nine also equals to eight. The only two are these two over here. And the only way to get those two over there is to put create the four which is one and seven that creates the four over here. So all these equal to the eight, one and seven equals to the four. The only ones we have left over is four and eight. I take four, it goes into eight. The only one left over is eight. But this four, this line in the four, depending on how you want to design the four, remember, some people just design the four this way. A lot of people design with the continuous four. If I designed the simple four this way, then even the four goes into eight. But now the seven is offline. When I talk offline, I cannot go from here to here. I have to have my angles this way. If my angles are this way and this goes this way, then this becomes the four. And this becomes the four. That is my actual, which becomes one and one. And I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay. What happens with the seven now? What happens with the seven? One, two, seven. If I take the five, okay, I'm going to show you the seven. And now I'm going to take the five and put it over the seven. This is what happens to the five. Five and seven. A two-way, or you can go four-way, it doesn't matter, but five and seven equals to an eight. But now it's got this marking on it. See this marking? It becomes Z Lamed. Okay. 
Zion Limited if you want. You want to look at the heart? They call it Exante Gut in, in French and the Grave. The Grave means the grave and to be buried in the earth. The Igu is a sewage system and to be buried in the water, to be buried in the earth, two different angles, nine lives of the cat and the matrix wires pass through the Igu. The graveyard or Green Avenue brings you the earth to life. E M W E W turning third letter, two and three is five, the E is the fifth letter, the spirit of fifty-five. The W is the twenty-third letter, plus five equals the twenty-eight, the cycle of the system, cycle of the moon, zero five equals sixty, creates eighty-eight, and the star system, the in-between system, the greatest diameter of the cross that runs in between eighty-eight, runs the flow. Why do we have 45? Because the V is the 22nd letter, 2 and 2 is 4, and it's the 5th letter equals to the foxhole. The V creates the passage between 2. This is the string or the energy pull over here, depending on which way you want to look at it, and it is also the key. If I would drop a, something above this, it would split, splitting hairs between two sides. Now, is that dividing DNA is the question. So this is your number formation on numbers, the breakdown, and the easiest way what is actually left over in this? If you really want to look at the odd numbers, the odd numbers are 1, the odd numbers are really 4, and the odd numbers are 7. Everything creates 8. This comes from the spirit side equals to 12 equals to 3, 3 and 8 equals to church, 3 over 8 equals to 8 again. One last thing I wanted to mention is what happens to a number we can choose any number we want. I'm just going to show you a few numbers, right? Oh, I didn't want to do it this way, so I'm going to do it in between. I just want to show you that 6 and 9 are the same. So now we're left with only 6 or 9. 6 and 9 now become 8. Take away 6. Take away 2. Take away 3. Take away 4. Take away 5. Take away 6. Everything becomes 8. So what we're going to do now is what does 1? What happens to 1? One splits things in half. And what happens when you split things in half? We're going to show you what happens when you split things in half. Okay. This is what happens when you split things in half. This becomes 8 and this becomes 6. If you want to count the fine line as a 5 and you don't want to count the tails, this would be a 5. But because it's a straight line, this becomes 8 and 6. All right. This is the 5. We're going to take out the pencil. Let's do this real quick because I don't have speed up on my thing, and we're going to split the 9 and 5 apart. The 5, excuse me, the 5 with 1, we split it apart, and we turn it into 9 and 6. So here we have the 6 and 1 creating 8 and 6. Here we have the 5 and 1 creating 9 and 6. Here we have the 3 creating 8, and if you want to say 3, or 8 and C. There was one other thing, and it, it was the word believe. The word believe. The word believe, B2, B2, L3, V22, 32, 34, 36, creation, 5595, E I E I O, liberty, believe. 4 inside 8 with the tail makes 4 squares. How much more, how much further would you like to take this? It just keeps moving on. At the end of this video, I'd like to say, Tommy, I completely understand you. I know what you're saying. If we start the numerological system at zero, the zero is actually, let me explain how zero works. This is zero. I'm holding on to this side. I'm holding on to this side. Number one goes in over here or goes in over here, and I'm pulling the video stream. So it's the difference between the video stream. I'm zero. I become six. I become six and I am the passage to the seventh gate, creating eight within the mind that moves forward, that comes from behind because I'm sending my circulation of the high and the low blood pressure. It comes back to one because it's circulating within my body. Thank you, Tommy Coughlin. Raphael, 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Good morning.